I think the less screen time we have, uh, the more interested you become in the world around you. Right now, it's basically it's a battle for our attention, and the attention is a lot of times being played into the screen, you know, with with iPhone or Android or whatever it might be. So I think that's the whole premise, even in, in not in just in academics, but also in, in the real world. I mean, when I do things, is just to create things, create create value, and not just create ideas. One thing we're working on now is this thing called Makers & Co. So I'm working with a friend. Basically, it's a platform for makers. We're looking for a workshop, so a place where we can just build stuff. So I think it's more like an artist studio than an office, you know, where you have your laser cutter and your hammer and nail, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah could, you could call it post-digital, but I think post-digital also having an office that you, you do yourself, you know, and that, that's not required by some holding company to say, this is the office. I had a laptop, it was like an old Mac, and a friend of ours had these two chairs, so we have another one in the bedroom. And, uh, and they're kind of quirky designs, but the cool thing is um, if you have the chance to change, you know, exchange or trade technology, like a laptop or something, then do it because the laptop's pretty much worthless now and we still have the chairs and the chairs are still good. And I think that's, that's, that's a huge thing, you know. Digital is, some people say it's like the oxygen we breathe. And I think that's somewhat true, but it's like technology. You woke up this morning, you put your pants on, and you have a zipper, and you've zipped up your pants, and that zipper is technology, you know. The button is technology, but you don't think about it as technology. It's just something that is. So post-digital is being able to do whatever you want to do without having to think twice about it. It's, it's all about just trying things out and building things. And then it's, it's about doing stuff for yourself and that for other people. And obviously digital is a whole world on itself, but I think an important thing is the physical world. And that's why I find physical computing so interesting right now, is because um, there's so much you can do and it's not tied into a screen. So I'm looking for people that actually make things and actually share it. And I think that's the whole idea with the maker movement is you don't just make things, but you share what you do. And then um, they use technology, but you don't really think about it as technology. And that's the most interesting work when you don't think, oh, okay, how is that made? It's more like, what, what's, the, what's the experience of that thing? And that's, for me, that's also post-digital. I think the biggest challenge is going to be how can you collaborate with people? And it's just having a, a mindset that's open. And um, the internet allows us to do anything we want to do if we want to do it, you know. And it's just up to, to us to do it. <laughs>